Hey everybody, welcome back. So I got a laundry list of stuff that I want to get done today. Um, I want to finish the wiring. Um, I want to drill the mounting holes in the back plate. Get that screwed in. Um, I went out and got screws for the bridge to replace the one I lost. Actually, I just replaced all three of them. Um, I want them all the same. Um, got to... Uh, install the bridge saddles and uh, push in the uh, string ferrules in the back. So let's get to it. I want to show you a pretty useful little tool here. It's a patch cord that has alligator clips on the other end. Um, Used something very similar to this when I was doing the uh, tone wood testing to pick up directly so I could, to the amp. But let me show you a cool little trick here. Now, the shielding is this one. So that's going to be our ground connected to our multimeter, black probe. Collect the other one. Connect the other one to the red. Now the reading I'm getting is my bridge humbucker. Now if I pull the push-pull pot, that's single coil. And that's the full humbucker. So, hey, it works. Who knew? All right, I'll be back once I get the second one wired up. All right, let's check the neck humbucker. That's the full humbucker. That's the coil split. That's the bridge humbucker. That's the coil split. All right, good to go. settles installed and now it's time to install the string ferrules now I followed the directions that Stu Mac gave for installing these you uh, use the right size drill bit but before the guitar was finished these just fell right into the holes 
like I drilled them too big. But now that there's finish on the guitar, there's a little finish on the top of all the holes. It seems they don't fall right in anymore. I was worried about that. I thought I might have to glue them in, but you're not supposed to glue these in. They're supposed to be just pressed in. It seems that during the finish process, a little bit of the finish ran down inside the holes and it's taken up that space. And that's a good thing. Now, let me find something to press these right. in with. I'm going to use this uh, T-handled Allen wrench here. I think it's 5 millimeter. Fits right inside there pretty good. And just push it down. These are flush mount because I don't like stuff rubbing on your leg when you're playing a guitar, especially those ferrules. So these, well, let's okay, try these are flush mount. Get that to focus in, so there's nothing sticking up. I prefer those. Okay, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, when we come back next time, we're going to be uh, taping off the neck, leveling the frets, crowning, and polishing. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you guys behave yourself, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.